Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install or deploy Jenkins on Azure Linux virtual machine. First create the virtual machine. Connect to Azure portal, then in search resources, search for virtual machine. Click on virtual machines. See, I don't have any virtual machine. Click on create, then select the Azure virtual machine or click on here, create and select the Azure virtual machine. Select the subscription. If you have free trial, you have to select free. Otherwise, select the pay as you go. Okay. Then next resource group. If you want to create separate resource group, you have to click on this create new. Otherwise, if you want to use an existing one, select the existing ones. Okay. I'm going to use the existing one. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I'm going to use Ubuntu 22. LTS naming as Jenkins. Select the region and select the then availability options. Select the availability zone and availability zones we have three. I am going with zones one. Then select the security type. I am going with standard. Then image select the Ubuntu server 2204 LTS. Or if you are unable to find here, click on then scroll down click on see all images otherwise click on just this see all images see we have the ubuntu server still if you are unable to find here you have to click on this marketplace ubuntu and hit enter see we have the different ubuntu images okay select this ubuntu server in this drop down we have these options i'm going with Ubuntu Server 2204 LTS Gen 1. Anything is fine based on your requirement. Okay. See, the image has been changed. VM architecture x64. If you want to run with stop discount, you have to select this checkbox. Otherwise, keep as it is size. Here, in the size, you have to select the CPU and RAM size. I'm going with the first one that is the recently used. If you want to change, you have to click on see all sizes and you have to select like suppose if you want to select it and you have to click on select i am going with the first one then click on select administrator account ssh public key or password i am going with password so provide the username i am giving demo user then provide the password see password must have three of the following one lowercase one uppercase character one number and one special character okay see it is success now inbound port rules see by default it has selected ssh if you want to enable this http and https you have to select them then click on next our disk default it has selected 30 gigabytes if you want to change you have to click on this drop down and you have to select i'm fine with 30 gigabytes then os disk type see we have different os disk types i'm going with standard ssd okay see this option suppose if you delete the virtual machine these disks will also be deleted if you check this checkbox okay remaining i'm not going to change and here data disks for ubuntu machine if you want to attach an existing disk you have to click on this attach an existing disk otherwise if you want to create and attach any disk you have to click on this one at present i'm not going to create or attach any disk now next click on networking virtual network it is going to create this one and this is a subnet range public ip you have to Keep this new public IP. Network NIC network security group. I am going with basic and selected ports. We have selected earlier. Okay. I am going to keep also check the checkbox. Delete public IP NIC when VM is deleted. Okay. And remaining options I am not going to configure like load balancing options. Click on management. I am going to keep all as it is. Then click on monitoring. Here also I am not going to change anything. If you want 
add any custom data to this virtual machine you have to click on you have to provide that data here click on next tax i'm not going to provide click on do you want create see validations are passed so this is the summary of the virtual machine if you are okay with the summary click on create See, deployment is completed, which means we have successfully created Azure VM for the Ubuntu Linux. Go to home, then click on virtual machines. See, here we have virtual machine. Click on it. Hide this one. See, this is the public IP. Copy this one. Click on connect. Click on connect. See, this is the username and this is the public IP. Now, open Putty from your desktop. If you want to install Putty, install it. Okay. It is free. Click on Putty. Provide the IP. Click on Open. Click on Accept. Provide the username. Username is demo user. See, this is the username which we have created. Provide the password which we have provided at the time of making the Azure. Beam. See, we have successfully connected to Ubuntu which is hosted on Azure. Okay. Now, we will see how to install the Jenkins on this Azure VM. Jenkins IO. This is the official website. Go to that documentation. Then click on installing Jenkins. Click on Linux. Click on Debian Ubuntu. See here the prerequisites 256 of RAM, 256 MB of the RAM, 1 GB device space or drive space. Okay recommended are this one but minimum are these ones okay and software requirements we must have to install java java hyphen hyphen java hyphen hyphen version see we don't have java installed so now install java 11 so install java by running apt sudo apt get install default hyphen jre hit enter type y for confirmation this success see this is completed this also these are also there you now go to the shell run one by one so copy this first one go to terminal and paste it and hit enter done again copy the second one Go to terminal, paste it and hit enter. It is also success. Now update the Linux packages by running sudo apt get update. This may take time because we are doing this first time. Updation completed. Now next step is we have to install the Jenkins. Control L to clear screen. Now verify Java version. Java, Java hyphen version. See, we have installed OpenJDK 11. Now install Jenkins by using sudo apt get install Jenkins. Type Y for confirmation, hit enter. See, it is going to install Jenkins 2.426.3. It is success. Now verify controller to clear screen sudo systemctl status. Jenkins. This typo. See, Jenkins is active and running. Q2 quit. See, Jenkins is running on the port number 8080. And to get the password, we have to check this file. Okay. So open. Now go to browser. Then we have to give the IP, then followed by this port number. Okay. See, this is the IP, copy it, then paste it, give 8080 80, and hit enter. See, we are unable to connect. Now go to, now go to the VM, then now configure the DNS name. Generally, we won't get this error, but if you get error, go to the VM, then click on this DNS name, then provide the name. I am giving same name as 
my virtual machine. Paste it, then click on save. Now go to VM, then ref but still it is showing not configured. Refresh it. See DNS name has been configured. Copy it. Now go to the app and paste that at the end put colon then give 8080 port number hit enter now we have to provide this initial admin password we can get it from the here both are same so more then give that see we don't have permission so give sudo at the start and give more and give the file name See, this is the password, double click on it or right click on copy it, okay. This password not same for you, okay. Then paste here and hit enter. Never. Now we have to click on install suggested plugins. Click on it. Now we have to create the first admin user. Now I am giving username as administrator. Then provide the password. Provide the full name. J admin. Email can be anything. Okay. But give the valid email. Okay. Click on save and continue see this is the url save and finish see jenkins is ready to use click on start using jenkins see this is the jenkins dashboard people build history manage jenkins my use and all okay so in this video we have seen how to install or deploy and configure jenkins on azure linux virtual machine for more jenkins or devops or Cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.